What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play episode 10. And we are, uh, we just finished, we just completed the first island challenge, the Verdant Cave Island Challenge. We discovered Z moves and Z stones, and I'm still not 100% clear on all of that, but I think I get it. And that's what matters most. So now uh, we're we're looking for Lily in Route 3. And while we're at it, we're going to try and complete this side quest. Uh, pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are. So maybe I'll get swoop attacked here. Um, I need to complete a side quest. Ooh! Vullaby! This is the makings of a Mandibuzz here. And that could be a really cool Pokemon to have. The only thing... And I hate to be a nuisance, but uh, I'm I'm in this to be checking out some of these new Pokemon. You know what I mean? I want to... I'm trying to... Let's go with Pound. I want to do a little bit more damage. I don't want to do too much, though. There we go. Pluck, trying to eat my berry, you jerk. I think having a Vullaby on the team would be awesome, but I don't want to use one until I've evolved Trumbeak to its final evolution. Yeah, I gotta keep Trumbeak. I gotta keep Trumbeak as is for now. Because I'm here to play with the new Pokemon, not just the old ones, you know what I mean? But it's good that I got it registered. Definitely good to know. Uh, not in a lowland form, just regular form. Can't fly yet, even though it's a flying type, and it can learn roost. Well, I guess you don't have to fly to know how to know how to roost. Not gonna nickname it. I'm gonna send it to the uh, send it to the box. That's cool. So, what else we got here? Two routes. Watch out for flying Pokemon. Uh, this one seems to be a longer way. Got a trainer battle here. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding yours is the key to victory. Do you have a Pokemon with an interesting ability? Psyduck. No. Oblivious and I'm not going to try and confuse you. Just going to hit him with that disarming voice. Disarm him outright. Hmm. Kind of bulky. Kind of bulky, but it's cool to see a Psyduck. I like that. I like how you see the trainers calling the shots behind the Pokemon every time they do a move. Psyduck, I mean, you're not going to notice it. This Oh, you saw me do it there, but you're not going to see Psyduck do another one. But you might see him sad when Psyduck faints. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alley grew to level 9. Couldn't show off the effect of his abilities. He's got the uh, the raised, the single raised eyebrow move going on there. So we see a grassy area. I know that I need to catch a specific Pokemon while I'm here. And hopefully this is it. That's the one. That's what they said. Okay, this is adorable. Very, very cute. Uh, I don't know how... <clears throat> I don't know how strong it is. I don't want to kill it. I'm a lot sh I'm a lot higher level than, than Cutie Fly is. Okay, Absorb. Ooh, that's going to hit me super effective. So let's see, uh, let's toss a Pokeball at it. It might just break free really quickly, I don't know, it looks small though, so maybe it's kind of an easy capture, so I didn't really need to hurt it that much. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. So 
Okay, amazing. And a brand new Pokemon, so we gotta have that in the team. You know that. You know what I might do? I think I'm gonna drop Trumbeak, and here's why. Later on, if, if all I really want is to evolve it again just to see what the evolution is, I can do that later. I don't really like the starter birds usually. I liked Talonflame because it was fire type, and you know, maybe it didn't really... I know they were normal birds until... I think, I don't know, Trumbeak is normal flying still. It didn't gain any new typing. So maybe I'll drop Trumbeak for now, and later on I can always go back and evolve Trumbeak. Um, this is Bug Fairy. Oh my god, that's good typing. Four times resist fighting. Bug type to resist psychic. Or to be super effective against psychic. Myriads of cutie fly flutter above the heads of people who have auras resembling those of flowers. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, I want to give Cutie Fly a nickname. Male Cutie Fly, huh? You know what? This tiny little guy. I gotta call this one Baby Nick. This is Baby Nick. This is my boy, Baby Nick. Uh, Mighty, aka Mighty Mamoswine. Friend of mine uh, through the GBA and just through my Pokemon ventures in general. So Baby Nick, here's to you. Welcome to the party. You can take place of Peck Peck. Peck Peck has a Normalium Z. What do you want to do with it? Remove it. I guess. I don't know what that means. I, I don't know that it matters if it's removed or not. What is the significance? But here we go. Um, I'm going to run back to town and turn in the side quest. So we have returned. And she says, what, you've caught cutie fly? Do you mind showing me your decks? And of course I don't. Sucks up pollen from nectars and flowers using that funny long proboscis it has. It's uh, pretty cute. I wouldn't mind one of these buzzing around me. I should think I might want to get one. Let me pay what I promised you. Blah, blah, blah. 3,000, what? That's it. I mean, I wanted the cutie fly, so I'm not, I'm not like disappointed, I guess. I didn't really want money, and 3,000 isn't really much. That's like a trainer battle. But that's fine, just fine, just fine. We've got another bird that's going to swoop down on us from here. Um, I want to see if it's another Vullaby, if it looks like it's going to mostly be Vullaby. Uh, we got a Spearow. So this is good. This is really good for a very specific reason. I can trade this Spearow for a Machop, which I can use in lieu of the, um, the Makuhita. So this is really good. This is perfect, actually. So let's pound on the Spearow. As he goes for Fury Attack. Let's keep it, uh... Let's keep it to just a couple of hits, huh? What do you think? Three should be good. Toss a Pokeball at this fool. I'm not, I'm not looking to lose any Great Balls trying to get this but chop. Although I think in previous games, maybe what the ball you traded it in is the ball that you got the new one in. I don't remember. I don't remember, but hey. Looks like we're going back to the, uh, we're going back to the Pokemon Center, boys. So what I want to see is whether or not I can trade while it's in the, yes, I will trade it. Is it going to let me pull it from the box? It is! That is amazing! So in previous games you had to have it in your party and that was really uh, inconvenient actually. But yeah, I hate Spearow. So let's get Spearow TF out of here. Thank you, thank you. So are we going to see a cool little trade animation? Yes we are. Gila. That is my favorite role to play in MMORPGs. Gila's. Oh man, I love I love the Machop evolutionary line. I feel like Machop is in every single game. Like he's never not there. They always need a fighting Pokemon like just put Machop in there. <clears throat> not complaining, Machamp is amazing. But we've got Machop now, number 95. Sweet. 
superhuman strength, able to throw a hundred people all at the same time. That's uh, kind of ridiculous. Karate chop. Leer, focus energy, foresight. I was, uh, not gonna lie, kind of hoping that I would be able to, uh, be able to grab Rock Smash, because I want that TM that's in that area, but no go. Maybe that's Strength, though. Maybe they removed Rock Smash because they realized Rock Smash and Strength are the exact same thing as far as gating your progress through the game. HMs in general are weird like that. If you just want to gate things, if you want me to not be able to go to the next area, just don't let me go to the next area. But if you think about it, Cut and Strength are really... They're kind of the exact same thing. It's just, oh, you can't go through here. Oh, now you can. Strength, you can... Or Rock Smash and, and Cut, I guess, are the same thing. Strength, at least you have to push boulders. You could turn that into a puzzle. Although you don't really need to. But you could, if you wanted to. So, uh, battling a Spiro again here. Just gonna take this one out. Not Don't need to catch another one. A little PB dinging. Let's loot, learn Encore. That could be a fun move. Let's get rid of Pound. An interesting move. I wonder if you can Encore someone's Z move and force them to struggle or switch. Mud Slap. It's just the attack version of Sand Attack, right? reason to have sand attack let's uh, keep moving ooh very cool we get to evolve Ja Ja's gonna evolve into Kadabra one thing I'm wondering if they still have the uh, the trading that you can do I'd really like to trade Ja to Trade one Alakazam or one Kadabra for another Kadabra just to get the Alakazam. It wouldn't be named Ja anymore, but it would be in in my heart. You know, I could still call it Ja. I think I might try that right now. Kinesis. Mm-hmm. I am gonna see, I am gonna see if I can do that actually. So we see an item on the floor. It's another sharp beak. I'm gonna check and see what kind what we're working with as far as the internet is concerned. Battle video, QR scanner, festival plaza, quick link. I'm not really sure what that means. If you and a person want to play, both touch your lower screens. You two will be connected. Okay. So I'm not really doing that right now. Um, unless it's in Festival Plaza. We can go see. So, I was able to find another Kadabra that was being traded for a Kadabra. And now I can evolve my Kadabra into an Alakazam. And this is great. This is awesome. So now I have Alakazam here. Got his data added to the Pokedex. Very cool. Uh, Psy Pokemon. Its brain cells continue to increase in number until its death. The older the Alakazam, the larger its head. Good to know. Didn't know that. All right, guys. So we have uh, we successfully traded that Kadabra, and no longer need to worry about trying to get that bad boy evolved. We see this little puzzle game here, where they want you to avoid encountering that the flying types grab the sharp beak there 
Uh, we got a trainer battle over here. I'm really hoping that uh, we can get a couple of more levels under that Alakazam, maybe learn some moves on it. I'm fighting Tatiana here. Do manage to nail the uh, three hit KO there. Machop growing to 10. So let's keep this going. This is nice. Uh, trainer battle done there. This just alternate path. We're just seeing a lot of different alternate paths here, but I see that to the left is a route up to Melee Melee Meadow. And uh, the suggestion that this is where we're supposed to go next. But I want to verify that we're blocked from going any farther if I don't go that way. Normally they've been pretty good at gating us, but... So he's looking that way, so she's no trainer, yeah, so I don't think she could have gone too far on her own. So she, he doesn't want me to cross the bridge. But I can go this way. This guy's going to give me something. A soothe bell to help me make friends faster. That's fine. Another sturdy looking rock that I can't break, unfortunately. <clears throat> Man. See another Spiro. Uh, don't need you, so I'm going to ignore this one. Okay, we're going to head up back over this way. Without the ability to break those rocks, unfortunately, I'm kind of SOL. But in the Melee Melee Meadows... Okay, so we find we find Lily here. Little yellow flowers. In the past, that would be where you go to fight horde battles instead. But Nebby seems like he got lost in there. Run off into the meadow. There's trainers everywhere. Nebby's in the back, checking out some flowers. He's perfectly safe, but Lily is very scared for him. Doesn't have any moves it can use in battle? Why not? Teach it something. What a terrible trainer Lily is. Oh, she's not really a trainer. She just likes Nebby. So I can go up there. Can't do that. So let's see if we're going to do horde battles in here. In the past, meadow grass had been horde battle, I think. No, it just looks like a pet low. But I will catch this. <clears throat> One disarming voice should get it weak enough. Just got a little absorb. 20 power. Shouldn't do too much. That was a crit, though. But yeah, let's throw a Pokeball at this continue to develop our Pokedex. I don't much care for Petville. Baby Nick getting to level 11. Keep it up, Baby Nick. Very cute. Petlil is a cute little Pokemon. And Lilligant. I see kind of like a shiny thing over to the left. I'm getting in battles really quickly, like every step. We see another cutie fly. Well, we've already got baby Nick in the pocket, so we don't need this. Almost made it through the meadow. I'm guessing that you, you fight more frequently in this because I... Whoa! Ori Corio, what is going on here? Ori Corio, that is so cool. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what it is. So let's stun it first. Doesn't affect it, so it's grass. What about a fairy wind? I really didn't do much to it. I don't want to kill it with struggle bug, but let's do it anyway. He helping hands. Of course he does. It's a cheerleader. That's not very effective either. So, could be flying grass, I suppose? No, but why would that... But then Fairy Wind wasn't very effective either, right? No, it was normal effectiveness. Popping Growls off on me. This is a really interesting Pokemon. I'm curious to see what kind of moves it's got. Really curious, because um, cause it was not very effective when I used a bug type attack. So if it was grass, which would explain why it couldn't get stun sport. Maybe it couldn't get stun sport because it has overcoat. No, it would have flashed something. Maybe it's electric type. Electric flying? <gasps> I would take electric flying. Macho wants to learn low sweep. I mean, anything is better than focus energy, if I'm being honest. If you're only going to get uh, a good time to use low sweep since it lowers your speed, if you're only going to get one attack off in a two, in a double two hit KO situation, you low sweep once and you get the second attack instead of not getting the second attack in the first place. Oricorio does not evolve, as you can see here. Uh, and it is, it's electric flying. That's really cool. Uh, let's give it a nickname, yeah. Let's call it, um... Should we nickname this one? Let's call this one Fizz. My boy Fizzy... Yo Fizz, aka Fizzy Stardust. And let's add it to the party, but what can it take place of? I mean, I guess in theory, I don't really need the Machop. What is it actually there for? I don't need the Goose. I just want to evolve it and see what it becomes. Let's drop Machop. There's not a huge reason for him to be there. And I can have this very cool new Pokemon instead. So we finally got out of the, the grass there. This is a, this is a bit much, honestly. Um, let's see, let's have a look. Check my bags. Let's teach Fizz something. Oricario. Very high speed. Knows Peck, Helping Hand, Growl, and Pound. Helping Hand's not going to be any use, so let's get rid of that for workup. Would love to get this thing some moves, honestly. Until then, what about some Z moves? That was cool. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I, I found a new Pokemon in there because I was starting to get a little antsy about the Pokemon in this area. I might, honestly, I might, uh, so many battles here that I'm going to have to edit out because a lot of these, look, another Oricario.
Another Oricorio. We will switch over to Goose. Goose can take a pound, no problem. And then we can hit back with that Z power move. I don't know what Z Odor Sleuth means, but um Oh, it's just so it's a move you already have, but it adds a secondary effect to it. So enables ghost type to be hit by normal and fighting type attacks, which is what it already does. Uh, but it also increases your attack. Z Leer uh, also makes in addition to lowering the defense that also increases your attack and breakneck blitz is just a 100 base power move the power depends on the original move so he's gonna hit me with a pound and I'm gonna hit him with a 100 base power normal type stab breakneck blitz very cool okay so I'm, I'm sort of learning and they said you can only do one of these per per turn or per match. Kind of like Mega Evolution. Woo! With the crit. Crit mattered. <laughs> Baby Nick wants to learn Silver Wind. Heck yeah, you do. Chance to raise all my stats. Don't mind if I do it. There's no reason for me to keep absorb. At 20 base power, even if it were four times effective, that would only make it 80 power. I'd be better off just using um, using Struggle Bug or Silver Wind. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do here, though, because we are we are kind of getting into the uh, high time use scenario here. I'm going to use a repel. So I'd like to I'd like to finish off this little meadow area. Nebby. Pew. Very cool. So I brought him back. Oh, you pew. Thank you, Geo, she says. And I should thank Cutie Fly too. Is that what you said? What happened? It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. That's cool. So it's a form change. So you can catch different colored ones, just like Vivian used to be able to do. So she's worried that uh, people are going to see little Nebby. And they took me out of the zone. How is here. Uh, what are you up to, How? He just finished his trial. Uh, so he wants to battle me again. I wonder whether or not I got healed after that last one. Because I have some sleeping Pokemon. But we're ready to battle. And this will this seems like a pretty good spot to end the episode after this. So he sends out a Pikachu. He's only got two Pokemon. Pikachu to take on the Poplio, probably. Um, let's see. So we're the same level here. Struggle Bug is going to lower his special attack. Which could be useful. That was a crit, which is going to be huge. He's going to opt for the Growl, but Struggle Bug's special, so Baby Nick pulling his weight, taking on this Pikachu. I'm surprised at this stage in the game they would only give my opponent or my uh, rival two Pokemon. I feel like they should they should step that up a little bit. Wants to send out Litten. I'm a Bug type, so let's switch here. Um. Or Corio doesn't really have a whole lot to do. Goose could take him on. Ally is ground, but he's also steel, so fire is super effective against me. So let's go Goose here. I'll just pop our Z move again. It is known. I'll pop off another breakneck blitz here. Looks like we get a dance off Ur time.
break neck blitz. Break neck blitz. <laughs> it's so cool. It's a really cool animation. It doesn't even take him out, actually. Well, we'll just finish him off with the tackle here. You can go for a leer. Too little too late, my friend. Your Pokemon aren't a high enough level, and I'm switching out my Pokemon a lot, actually. So that was cool. So we end up taking out Hal. We find Lily. So I'm not sure where the next step will be, but I know Rotom's going to tell us real soon. So looks like we're both getting pretty strong. He's really concerned about beating his grandpa. Hey there, Jail. Knew I could count on you, yeah. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. He says, uh, talking about stylish moves. Oh boy. All part of the trials. One of the island's trials, you gotta battle the island's kahuna. Taking on the island's kahuna is called the grand trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see more fierce Pokemon battles. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. So maybe there's a loop. We can come back around. Finally have to take on Hala himself. Get ready and eat. Get yourself to Iggy Town if you dare. Okay, so uh, this will be a good place to end the episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. It looks like we're going to take on Hala. Unless some Team Skull shenanigans show up and... Uh, and interrupt that. But otherwise, uh, let's leave you that with that little cliffhanger. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what I'm uh, if I'm doing a good job. What you guys want to see change in some of these future episodes? Let me know. I am reading your guys' comments. So as always, my name is Jim Luda Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.